Delay. Delay, 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 delay. Delay is the most underappreciated effect, but it's the most important in terms of messing with time. But it's on how you finesse it and make it fit in the mix that works towards something special. So I'm going to show you how to get more interesting echoes in six ways and how to be more creative on your delays. And we're going to do all that today with the Recirculate Delay by Newfangled Audio. Now, Recirculate is more than just delay. You can pull up a simple, super clean delay with it, super quick, but you can also, and really easily, go deep and get really creative with it. But before we get creative, let's take a quick look at it. It's a straightforward plugin, nothing is hidden, and if you need, you can resize it like that. And it's set up the way you think about approaching delay. So from top to bottom, you've got the grid, tempo, and snap options for where you want to start rhythmically. You can adjust the display and make your moves by notes, steps, or milliseconds. And you can switch the delay's behavior from clean and standard what can I see now, now that I've seen? To pitch warping. Everything. You can make it granular. What could I show you now that we've shown? Or ping pong it side to side. In the middle, you got the display where you set the wet and dry balance and rhythm. This first red line right here is your dry signal, and the second yellow line is how you set your first echo. You just move it to the beat or the time you want to hit by going left to right, and you adjust the wetness by going up and down with it. Now what makes this delay special is that you can set your repeats with the feedback rhythmically separate from the timing of the first echo. You can move these pretty much anywhere you want to take them in time, and then you can see how everything you do here on the display is connected to the mix, feedback, and beats parameters highlighted below. So if you wanted to make adjustments down here, you can also see what you're doing on the display. All right, so those are the basics. There's also some extras below that we can get creative with and use to make the effect even more interesting. Now, using a filter on delays is a great way to get the effect heard and fitting in the mix without making a mess. I've got Recirculate on my lead vocals here. I'm going to set a basic standard quarter note delay synced with my track. We're going to create what's called the telephone or lo-fi effect. And it's going to add vibe and dimension and cut down on the muddiness of the effect in the mix. On the filter here, you've got two points. You want to take this first one and choose either a slope or a resonant filter depending how steep you want to roll off the lows. Let's listen to just the wet signal so we can hear what we're doing. I brought it to right about the mid-range, getting rid of all that low information, and then we'll do the same thing on the other point. We'll filter off some highs. Except on this one, I'm going to go with the combo filter. I don't want to completely cut all the highs out. I just want to attenuate them a little bit. We'll blend the dry back in. All right, now let's hear it back in the mix. The effect has presence. It fits right in the mix without clouding it up, and that dimension stimulates the ears. The pitch warping delays are great for ear candy. This is a behavior you'll find in an analog style or tape delay. The fluctuations or imperfections you get from manipulating the speed of an analog tape machine. Delaying and modulating the signal. So when you set recirculate's behavior to pitch warp down here in the sound stage, the modulator opens up where you can control the rate and depth. One of the most useful cases for this is when you want to make something sound weirder, almost psychedelic. Now, you don't have to go too extreme. There's also the case where you can use it subtly. To add a little watery thickness. All right, so for those that don't know what a granular delay is, I'll explain it like this. On a regular delay, if I say the word granular, 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 it repeats back the whole regular signal. But on a granular delay, if I say the word granular, it takes the signal, chops it up into tiny little pieces or grains, 
randomizes it, and delays that back to you. And this can add a really unique texture and atmosphere to the overall effect. Let's hear it on some vocals now. Loving everything. Turning up the spray increases the amount of randomization. Loving everything. And the size is how big you want the grains to come out. Loving everything. Oh. Try using the granular delay combined with the feedback at the right time in the mix. You can create some really nice time-stretching effects that work great for transitions. Since we're down at the sound stage, let's talk about delay into reverb. Now, this is great when you want to take the delays someplace else or when you want to make things sound bigger. It also helps in pushing the delays back in the mix and creating that sense of different spaces. I've got Recirculate now on my background vocals. Let's hear it with just a delay first. Now we'll dial up the reverb. See, it adds a nice airy feel to that delay. The piece got a little more delicate. Let's dial a little bit back on the decay, make it sound a little less washed. We can spread it out into the mix a little more. And then when you throw it up with the leads. It's like the backups are around the leads in the space, and it's nice and lush. And using a distortion with delay can help enhance the tone of the effect. And it's all different types of distortion, each add their own attitude or character to the effect. Recirculate gives you 28 unique drive and noise characters to add some edge and some personality to the effect. You can add a little more grime to it with the noise. Now you want to experiment with these settings depending on your mix, but nailing the right balance with it can add a lot of character to a basic delay. Now adding dynamics to delays is a better way to shape the effect and to make it breathe inside the mix. By controlling the transient information going into the delay, we can sculpt the right bounce going out. So we can catch more of the sustain or ending of the signal. Oh. or more of the attack. So by shaping that, we're enhancing how it breathes in between. The last trick I want to show you is using a ducking delay, which is a great technique for a vocal because it attenuates or ducks the effect when the words are sung or spoken, but then the effect bursts out when the vocals stop. Here it is before. I reach the coast and I watch the sun, watch the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. And all that buildup's gonna get real messy in the mix, so we'll dial up ducking. All of this will cycle on just like it has before. Where do I go now? Now, now, now that I've gone, 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 everywhere. And it dips the effect and opens it up at just the right time. Sometimes messing around with the right delay can give you the best mix ideas. Hopefully you learned something from this and I gave you some inspiration to make your delays more interesting. Now to try out the recirculate delay for yourself, just head over to eventideaudio.com slash recirculate or click on the link in the description below. Until next time, thank you for watching.